hello happy wednesday to all who celebrate we just got into melbourne so we got checked in yesterday i unpacked everything had a little bit of a reset day i guess i'll give you guys a little room tour so this is a little living room dining room the view is absolutely beautiful i love melbourne it reminds me of new york i would say if sydney is la melbourne is a little bit more new yorky and then this is the bedroom i'm just packing to go to the country today because we're in melbourne for a grand slam we potentially could be here two to three weeks ideally that would be an ideal situation so whenever i come to a grand slam i fully unpack everything because i just want it to feel a little more homey and i want to feel like i'm like living out of my suitcase i have the hotel bring me like 40 hangers it's so annoying unpacked everything there and then that's my closet this is Taylor's closet. And then yeah, I just put everything into like the drawers and stuff here. That's my that's my shit drawer. Here's the bathroom, which obviously is already a disaster already and will continue to be. Packing to go to the Australian con country today. I think it's like the country that's my friend said. So my friend is picking me up in like 10 minutes. These are two friends that I actually met here at Australian Open last year. One of them had slid into my DMs. I met them one night and literally hung out with them every single day for the next three weeks. They're like two of my best friends now. They came out to LA a couple months ago and they are two of the smartest, most hardworking, interesting funny badass people that i know we're getting out of the city today we're gonna go take a little little road trip adventure here is the fit these are venroy and this is to choosy i think is how you pronounce it they're both australian brands this is the one with the cool back let's go so this is tully and this is sarah and we're going to what's it called okay so we're going to dalesford it's like a country town in victoria probably about an hour and 20 minutes away There's the fall. The foil aluminum. And you guys, what do you say? Aluminum. How do you guys say coffee? Coffee. I feel like you guys say that kind of normal. Yeah. Even though you guys say my name. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is where we like Tal and I come on a weekend to get all that grocery out. Wait, do you guys eat them in the US? What is that? A lobster? A lobster? Right fish. What's the difference between that and a lobster? The lobster's got clippers at the front, so it'll, it'll bite you. Oh. Now I'm getting ready for a red carpet for the new Netflix tennis show, which is crazy. I actually have not seen the show yet, so I'm going to see it at the same time that it gets released to everybody. I was going through my old photos from like this exact time last year because I was trying to find a restaurant in Sydney that I'd gone to last year and I came across this video this like video diary of me so something that I've done forever and now I'm doing it and posting it which is really weird but I've filmed like video diaries for myself I don't know just oh my god I held that on for so long please don't fall off okay Whew, got distracted yeah so I filmed these video diaries for myself and I I'd filmed one on my phone almost exactly a year ago and in this video i'm just so sad and like this time last year i was working a corporate job still i didn't love it i knew i didn't want to do it i had no idea like what i was doing where my life was going what i wanted to do honestly maybe i'll just insert that video it is december 31st 2021 i'm in australia right now and I'm just feeling like a failure. I don't know if I just don't have like the drive or the energy or I don't believe that I can do it. I don't believe that I'm gonna be successful. But every single day I see all of these like people doing things and I like, I literally just feel like such a failure. I just, when's it gonna be my turn? Weird and sad seeing myself so miserable but at the same time it's a good reminder of a lot can change in a year a lot and i have a really good feeling about 2023 even though as you guys know it got off to a little bit of a rough start i do have a really really good feeling about this year but i also said that about 2020 the lighting in this hotel bathroom is so horrendous they need to stop letting men design hotel bathrooms because a woman would never allow this. All right, here is the fit. Can you give an OOTD? 
What do you mean? <laughs> oh, oh, a TD. You're looking at it. Yeah, but where's it from? Our body. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to like, uh oh, it's your D. You're supposed to say where everything's from. Fits. Here we go. I just got home. I ordered grilled which is like my favorite fast food place here in Australia. I get it like four times a week. Not the epitome of health, but I do work out a lot. So it evens out. And I'm getting up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to go to a Barry's class. It's all about balance. I always agree to these early ass workout classes and then regret it. But I know that I will feel better afterwards. Right and early. So this is Haley. I met Haley last year. We meet up in the US at all. I can't remember if I saw you in LA. Uh, I missed my Barry's class. Oh. <laughs> in this really cute little town that has lots of little shops and boutiques and restaurants and the beach is down there get that content girl <laughs> white anchovies white anchovies and you just eat them straight what do you call these those are shrimp <laughs> plugged it <laughs> I bet you might scroll. I'm not eating Vegemite again. <laughs> no, 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 you have to have it with butter. Vegemite is really good when you're hungover. If vitamin B. I took a bite of that. Actually, that's probably why I hate it so much, because I did try it when I was hungover. Oh, yeah. Actually, when I'm hungover, all I crave is Vegemite toast. Yeah. Ew. Just got back. Taylor and I are going to dinner. It was supposed to be date night. And then he invited his friends. This is Maggie. What's up? This is Tommy. That's how I barely beat him, but after I beat him, I was like, I don't think I could beat him again. You saved match point with like crazy. Yeah. I saved match point. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I said they were hungry. <laughs> oh my god, Zuka is through this. Oh my god, I just say that. Oh my god. I can see you're going to need to break this down from a fundamental standpoint. I bet all of us eat five of these for two hours. Very good. Those are not three. Would you rather. Eat a whole jar of Vegemite right now, or play the whole Australia swing with no sunscreen. Oh, like, no sunscreen. No sunscreen. For sure. Good morning. I am on my way to one of my favorite places in Melbourne to go get coffee and smoothie bowls with my friends. And then today I'm hosting my first event. I've never done something like this before. I was literally shitting my pants all of last week because I was so scared that nobody was gonna come. my favorite lunch it's like this beef vermicelli salad i just went over to tolly's apartment and recorded a podcast episode with her and sarah they have a podcast called curious conversations i think that comes out next week on wednesday the pilates class was so fun i'm so grateful that i get to do things like that and have a platform that i can organize things like that it was just it was just really cool to get a group of girls together so i'm really grateful and thank you to everyone who came taylor and i are going out to dinner tonight we will be going to a steakhouse because tomorrow is match day first match day at the australian open and we usually go to a steakhouse and have like steak and potatoes the night before match day. and then next week will be lots of australian open content <laughs> 